We want to make him stronger in general, like his whole body, his arms, his legs, his abdominal area. So when you go in to take that shot, you, you can stabilize your body. I, I would say the only exercise I get is jumping to conclusions. <laughs> There you go. You can did, have you, that one. did you think of that one? Like, like, no, honestly, Tanya, while you were talking, he did this. He went, and it was. I, I was wondering what you were going to say, and I think he got. I, I just got a funny one. I got an idea. Watch this. I'm gonna wait for her to stop talking. Yeah, the only thing I do is jump. And it was worth the wait, was it oh, not? No. I don't. Okay, sorry. So Andrew had this meeting set up with Dr. Tanya at the Sky Helicopters. He was flying her in to, uh, to meet with me and to, so I could learn more about keto. Andrew tried to explain it to me and I was, uh, I was very interested and I was looking forward to meeting Dr. Tanya and, and all what, uh, what keto is all about. When we started talking, I just said, oh. I'm so ready for this. Dan, I think you're really gonna enjoy Tanya. She's gonna not only tell you how to cook, but tell you how to move. So this is like two little buddies listening to Tanya. <laughs> so Dan, you say you've tried all these other diets in the past. What do you know about a ketogenic diet? Uh, nothing. Nothing. She said ketosis is a, is a state that teaches your body not to burn glucose and sugar, but to burn fat instead. I said, well, that sounds like a very interesting thing. The good thing is the type of diet that we're gonna talk about is actually a high fat, uh, low carb diet. So you're gonna be consuming more fats, which is more fun because it's the kind of foods that you like fun to eat. Food. It's fun food. Fun food. Because bacon is, you know, fun. usually you have to give up bacon when you're on a diet, food. but you can still have bacon. What we want to do is we want to take you from uh, this sugar and carbohydrate metabolism and switch you to fat burning. Well, the cool thing is I can eat rouladen because that's kind of my go-to dish. What's that? So rouladen is a piece of beef that you have mustard and your dill pickle and your onions and your bacon. See, here he, he's coming yeah. alive. And you roll it up and you tie it and you braise it and you put it in a roasting pan with onions and, and that sounds beef perfect. and so on. That's going to be your first it, it's, just, it's amazing. Did you see what happened just there? Yeah. Like so, I'll ask him. So, what was the trip like? Well, well, what we did is we um, we went to this restaurant and they, they had the you know, and then and then they served it with this and this and then they had some something on it and yeah. That was very detailed information. Oh, but I see, that was just we cut him yeah, off. Like he was about. I to... went to Mexico. You know what I brought back? Spices. Spices. Getting into ketosis is really, really Dr. hard. Dr. Tanya was talking about uh, this ketosis state that is quite difficult to get into, but she had an idea of how to get there much quicker by having this drink that's called Keto OS. Mix it up in the morning, shake it up in a shaker bottle and drink it. Um, and it instantly puts you into ketosis. In 30 to 60 minutes, you're in ketosis and you're in fat burning, which is so awesome. The great thing is ketones are water soluble. So you can never have too much in your body. And because we are, our bodies naturally, um, we naturally make ketones when we're in ketosis, they're 100% safe. Because Prove It's Keto OS, uh, with all of our research, we, uh, it's, it's a bioidentical ketone to what you would find naturally in the body when your body makes it. So your body actually sees this as being bioidentical which is great. To drink this uh, twice a day, uh, to me, it sounded like uh, a good idea. Uh, the whole experience with Dr. Tanya was, was kind of a little bit embarrassing with doing, taking measurements and uh, taking my shirt off, getting measured, you know, to a total stranger. Is it cold? My hands are cold. It's a little nipply. Nippy. <laughs> Then doing this workout routine, which uh, wasn't very hard, but um, for me personally, it was uh, not not very simple. And I was huffing and puffing just to do a few simple things. How are you feeling? Good. <laughs> we were four couples in Mexico. We walked a ton every day. And it wasn't like we were set out to do exercise. We are really just walking everywhere. <laughs> And I was, you know, not first. I was generally last. And uh, I don't like to be last. 
So we're going to fix that. Yeah.